Okay, so in this video, we're looking to find the residue of z cubed cosine 1 over z. And we're looking to find it at the point 0. So we see point 0, so 1 over 0, that's a singularity. So that's going to be the key point that we're looking for here. So as always, complex analysis, z equals a plus bi, and i is the square root of minus 1. So how are we going to find the residue of this? Well, by looking at this, we know a Taylor series for cosine and z cubed is already in polynomial form. So let's find the Laurent series. So Laurent series. OK, so first of all, we know a Taylor series for cosine. So Taylor series. For cosine of w equals 1 minus w squared over 2 factorial plus w to the 4 over 4 factorial minus w to the 6 over 6 factorial and so on. And we've got z cubed here. So what we could do if we multiply z cubed by the Taylor series for cosine of w here, where w is 1 over z, maybe then we can get our Lorentz series. So let's just have a go with that. So z cubed, and then multiply that by all of this. So 1 minus, so now we've got w squared. So our w here is 1 over z. So we've got 1 over z squared over 2 factorial. Now we've got w to the 4, so again plus w is 1 over z, so 1 over z to the power of 4, 4 factorial. And now w to the 6, plug that one in, 1 over z to the power of 6, over 6 factorial. And then this will just keep going on and on and on forever. Okay. Now let's start to multiply through by the z cubed. Let's see what we get. So z cubed is the first one. z cubed times 1. Then minus. So z cubed times 1 over z squared over 2 factorial. So 1 over z squared, that's going to give us 1 over z squared over 2 factorial multiplied by z cubed. Okay, so let's just put that in brackets. Now let's go for this one. So plus z cubed again. And then we'll have 1 over z to the 4 over 4 factorial. And then again we'll go for this one, multiplied by z cubed again. 1 over z to the 6, let's just change that bracket around a little, over 6 factorial, and so on and so on. Okay, right. Now, what we can do is here, these z squareds can go onto the bottom, this z4 onto the bottom, and this z6 onto the bottom. So let's just simplify this up a little bit. So we get minus, so z cubed, stays on the top, z squared, 2 factorial, 2 factorial is 2, so 2 z squared. Okay, next one, let's go for this one, simplify this up. z to the 4 can move to the bottom, along with the 4 factorial, which is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, which is 24. So that's 24 z to the 4, and then the z cubed stays on top. Minus, so same again here as with these, z cubed stay on the top, z to the 6 go on to the bottom, and then 6 factorial is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 times 6, which is 720. And then da 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 da. Okay, so now we can divide the z cubed and z squared, the z cubed is z to the 4, and z cubed is z to the 6 z to the 6. So simplify that up a little bit. So we get z cubed minus z cubed divided by z to the 2. Take that, 
divide by subtract 2. So we get z over 2. Next one, plus, that's 4. So we do that, subtract 4. So now we get z to the minus 1. So that's 1 over 24, z to the minus 1. Okay, that takes care of that. Now this one, minus z cubed z to the 6, do that one, subtract 6. So again, we got minus 1 over 720, z to the minus 3, and again, so on. Question asks the residue at f at point 0. So for the residue, the residue is at 1 over z or z to the minus 1. And it's the coefficient is what we're looking for. So therefore our z to the minus 1 is this one. That's what we're interested in. Okay, z to the minus 1, that would also be the same as you could write, instead of writing z to the minus 1, you could also write 1 over z. So that's the same as that. So our coefficient is 1 over 24. So our coefficient is 1 over 24. Therefore we can say the residue of f at 0 is 1 over 24. That 